I watched something last night. I wanted more. It was sort of like a 2020 episode, but it was on Hulu and it's called The Housewife and the Hustler. I am going to watch this uh, little documentary of an hour and a half. And you did. I did immediately. Immediately. I did immediately. I like. I immediately like switched from ABC. I'm like, I've got to go. Because that's a sensational title. Oh, the housewife and the hustler. hustler. It it is. It is on Hulu, and it's from presented by ABC News. It's an original that they did for Hulu, and it's all about the legal problems of Erica Jane Girardi of Real Housewives of Beverly Hills and her estranged husband, who was like this one-time power lawyer, Tom Girardi. It's about uh, Tom Girardi. (gasps) Oh. And Erica Jane from Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. And it is mind-blowing. It's about the legal problems of Erica Jane Girardi of Bravo's The Real Housewives of uh, Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills Hills and her very famous, very, um, what we used to think, amazing attorney husband Mm -hmm. um, who is upside down in money and has been stealing from his clients. Yeah. So it's all about that. I think it was two hours, but really, really good. There are interviews from victims of his Mm. who... um, he basically, you know, was a a, a lawyer that um, got money for people who were victimized in some way or another, or who maybe were injured. Um, so he would get them these settlements, mm-hmm. and then it's about how a lot of these people are like, "When am I getting my money?" And he kind of swindled them out of their money, and then it shows you how they believe Erica Jane. Uh, was involved oh, and it's mind blowing that she's continuing to do Real Housewives because she is on the current season right now. I've got to watch this immediately. Yes. <clears throat> and she's like blabbing about things and it's all about like their, their over the top luxurious lifestyle. Mm-hmm. And you know, it's kind of like a red flag. Like where do you think this money is coming from? Like lawyers don't, make that much money you know i mean it's very suspicious and so watching it okay it opens up i'm not i won't tell the whole thing so you got to watch it but it opens up with a very um sensationalized reality show feeling and i thought is this an abc news special report it's really really good and it's kind of got that 2020 feel that Mm -hmm. kind of like Not campy, but, you know, there's interviews with, like, people that you're like, why are they interviewing that person? You know, because it's airing on Hulu, but it uh was produced by ABC News. Is Danielle Staub? She's in it. She's in it? Mm Mm-hmm. Okay, so first, the first person you see is Danielle Staub from the Real Housewives of New Jersey, the very first year, who the has least no credibility. No, no credibility. And how her. why she's there is she and Erica used to work at as a waitress at um, Shakers um, Strip Bar. They were both dancers there. So that's how they know each other. Oh, Lori. they go all yeah. the way back. Yeah, all the way back. Okay, okay. Right? She's from New Jersey. Yeah. Okay. So the two of them were dancers at the same. This is interesting because yeah. it's walking distance from the house I grew up in. They oh. were they were dancers at a nightclub in Lodi, New Jersey. And so Danielle's kind of talking smack about Erica and. So that's why she's there. And then All you right. see. I was wondering why in the world. And I thought, well, she's kind of a grifter herself. Is right? she going to admit some grifting? And, and what she said about Erica, Jane is kind of like, well, she's, she's, you know. Always been fake. Pretty much. That would explain. Yeah. Because on, on Instagram, Danielle Staub uh, commented on the housewife and the hustler special saying, personally, I find it all extremely disheartening. Yet here we are. Bravo TV continues to support the real crimes of Housewives franchise. Mm. This isn't entertainment. It's the lie Bravo tells you to create a storyline, which ironically is not reality. Oh, my. That from Danielle. Mm. So wait, she's a cast. Yeah, I was going to say she's about to get booted. I can't stand her. Yeah, she's been gone for a while, right? I haven't watched New Jersey for a while. Yeah, I don't watch New Jersey anymore, but I don't think, I think she came back, but I don't know if she's still on. Uh, I doubt it after that statement. (laughs) I mean, 
She goes on to no, say, boy. and finally, <laughs> this from again, Danielle, stop. And then I have a follow up. If the franchise continues to pay cast and promote their fake lives, so many more crimes against society will be committed. In reality, this will affect more civilians financially, emotionally, physically, and mentally. Check out my podcast link in bio. Okay, that is, bye. <laughs> is that right? That's right. Did she say that? She really did. Yeah, yeah. And then the next Takes person you know one. <laughs> right, and then the next person you see, and I'm waiting for an ABC News person, is Heather McDonald. And how do we know her? She was good friends with Chelsea Handler. Oh, she and was used, on her panel all the time. All the time. And then those two had a huge falling out. And she wrote a book and she's been on our show. Mm -hmm. Apparently she has a podcast. Okay. So, but she was always kind and funny and nice and real. But so that's our second person we see. Yeah. And I'm like, where's, in where's the ABC News person? Yeah. And then we see this former Beverly Hills housewife who I don't even know or recognize. Was it that Dana Wilkie, the lady? Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was. Mm -hmm. So, but really, I think the setup of this whole thing is that because... Tom Girardi and Erica Jane, it tells how they hooked up and Matt and out of the blue got married at a golf course kind of thing, blah, blah, blah. But the exposure since Erica Jane has been on The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills since 2015, the lavish lifestyle, we have just, and she admits we have two jets. I'm on a $40,000 a month glam squad thing. Two jets, one for the smaller, you know, for the local stuff, one, a bigger one to take us farther. And just the extravagance of her lifestyle and how that was so exposed, it, I think, opened up a lot of people who are pissed off at Tom Girardi, who's never paid him their settlement money because he said he's protecting them. They were too young to get the money in the one and case. And that he was investing And that it. he's investing it for them. And I've talked to my friends. We don't think, we think you're too young and you can't handle the money. Well, He's lost all the money. So and did blah, blah, some blah. of the families that he's stolen money from speak up yes, on camera? Yes. And one of the victims from this plane that or this oil pipe that blew up in a neighborhood. Um, the kid who was burned, his uh, his name is Joe Rigomez. Okay. And he was 19 years old watching a football game with his girlfriend when um, a gas line blew up part of the city. Oh. And so the, his girlfriend died. Oh, and he was severely burned and will have surgeries and health complications for the rest of his life. So Tom that's Girardi what that represented was. him and he didn't ever give him the money from the settlement. Correct. He would give him some money. Then oh, there's gosh. lots of lies. This guy is manipulative. He's kind of got the, he's that charming guy. And, you know, so you do get into that, but it starts out so, so shaky boots, shaky boots. But then did you think it was good? I think it's going to. Yeah. Can you believe that Erica continued to film this year? No. And so with here's, everything hanging over here's her head? the thing that what did she know? Well, first, Tom had it's like Tom had to make her happy because she wanted to be the star. So before she signed up with Real Housewives, he's having her make these really expensive videos and overproducing and, you know, using his money to support her and her entertainment career career needs. And then she gets the gig and then that's just all double exposed. And all of her songs are, I'd rather be will, rich than poor. Being poor stinks. I want to be rich. Uh, let you me know. give you her last hit. How many bleeps? Yeah. Oh, God. Well, I have a feeling that Erica G Jane is giving a lot of bleeps right now about uh, her husband, Tom Girardi's legal affairs, because even though... Um, this is was a review that I read in like Variety that ABC produced it that they really did want to give a voice to Girardi's alleged victims. Yeah. And you feel so bad for these victims who, you know, like one guy was burned in a fire oh. um, from a, uh, I think it was a, a plane that crashed. Yeah. There's this whole like Lion Air. Yes. There was, he had a big That's a different one. Oh, it's yeah. a different one. I think, I think Like so. all those victims had a settlement that they never got. Exactly. And there are these, you know, these people in Indonesia who don't, they just need the money so they can live, you know, and some of them need them to continue with their medical expenses. Erica Jane was listed as a secretary for one of his LLCs and that money on a regular basis was transferred to her company, EJ Global, mm -hmm. which funded her lavish dance, lifestyle her dance, Erica Jane, right. alter ego. Tom Girardi 
was always a big over the top person would have these extravagant parties that people would come to Jay Leno would host mm-hmm, them and everything. Mm-hmm. I mean, big stuff, but not like the exposure that happened when his wife, Erica Jane is on real housewives of Beverly Hills. Suddenly okay. the whole world knows about the slavage right. exposure versus a small group. And he just said, it's not, it's not done this way. I mean, it just looks, it's in such poor taste. So yeah. we'll see what happens. I kind of was yeah. sucked into it, but yeah. I really, when it started out with Daniel Staub, I'm like, like oh, oh my, my God. Gosh. But if the texture of that, because she did go from that New Jersey strip club yep. to somehow deciding to move to LA and she met Tom, right? She was a waitress she was a waitress. At a steak, a nice steak place. Yes. And she's 49 to his 82. Yes. And they've been married for like, 25 years. Yes. He sued very successfully. I think it was the biggest settlement in American history. The Pacific Gas and Electric um, I didn't know that he was the lawyer behind that. Yes. That's who it's based on, his firm. Mm -hmm. I have to watch this immediately because I'm missing a lot of Erica's comments whenever, you know, they show episodes that are coming up where Kyle says like, did you know about the orphans? And I'm like, I don't know what that's in reference oh, to. I don't know about the orphans so, either. Oh, so, well, I guess they're orphaned because their parents died in a fiery crash. Okay, okay. I feel like I need to catch up on what really happened. So yes. I'll be watching that. It uh, Again, it's on Hulu. It's called uh, The Housewife and the Hustler. Very good. But The right? Housewife and the Hustler, I think, is going to be People Kinda would like good. it. It's on Hulu. Okay. Yeah.